In this video, we're going to look at how to find the equation of the inverse function and its corresponding domain and range given a function f of x. Our examples will include a straight line function and a hyperbolic function. For our first example, we've got the function f of x is equal to 2x plus 1. To find the equation of the inverse function, we're going to start by writing f of x in terms of the variables x and y. So here we can write f of x as y is equal to 2x plus 1. We then interchange the variables x and y so that y becomes x and x becomes y. So our inverse function can be written as x is equal to 2y plus 1, but we want to make y the subject, so we're going to subtract 1 from both sides. This gets rid of the 1 on the right-hand side, so we have x minus 1 is equal to 2y. We then divide both sides by 2, which gets rid of the 2 on the right, and now we've got y is equal to x minus 1 on 2, and we can break up into two fractions as x on 2 minus a half, which is the same as a half x minus a half. So our inverse function has got the equation of half x minus a half. To find the domain and range of the inverse function, we use the property that the domain and range of f of x and f to the negative 1 of x interchange. This means that the domain of f of x is equal to the range of f to the negative 1 of x, and the range of f of x is equal to the domain of f to the negative 1 of x. So for our example, f of x is equal to 2x plus 1 is a straight line graph. It has got a domain of all real x and a range of all real y. So if we look at the inverse graph, f to the negative 1 of x is equal to half x minus a half, it's also a straight line graph. Not only is it symmetrical to f of x about the line y is equal to x, if we look at the domain and range of the inverse, the domain of the inverse is all real x and the range of the inverse is all real y. So we can see that the domain of f is the same as the range of f to the negative 1 and the range of f is the same as the domain of f to the negative 1. Our second example is f of x is equal to 1 over x minus 1 plus 2. To find the equation of the inverse function, we again start by writing f of x in terms of the variables x and y. So we've got f of x being the same as y is equal to 1 over x minus 1 plus 2. We then interchange the variables x and y so that y gets replaced by x and x gets replaced by y. So our inverse function will be x is equal to 1 over y minus 1 plus 2. We're then going to make y the subject by first subtracting 2 from both the left and the right hand side. This gives us x minus 2 is equal to 1 over y minus 1. Now x minus 2 is the same as x minus 2 on 1. We then flip the fractions on the left and the right. So we have 1 over x minus 2 is equal to y minus 1. We then add 1 to both the left and the right. And this gives us the equation of the inverse function being y is equal to 1 over x minus 2 plus 1. To find the domain and range of the inverse function f to the negative 1 of x, we again use the property that the domain and range of f of x and its inverse interchange. So for this function, f of x is equal to 1 over x minus 1 plus 2. We have got a hyperbola with asymptotes at x is equal to 1 and y is equal to 2. So the domain of f of x is going to be all real x except x cannot equal to 1. And the range of f is going to be all real y except y cannot equal to 2. So for the inverse function f to the negative 1 of x, we can see that the graph is again symmetrical with the graph of f of x about the line y is equal to x. For the domain and range, the domain of the inverse is all real x but x cannot equal to 2. So you can see the connection there with the range of f. And the range of the inverse is all real y with the exception that y cannot equal to 1. So you can see that this is the same as the domain of f.
Thanks everyone for watching the video. In our next video, we're going to look at hard examples on how to find equations of the inverse functions where we need to restrict the domain.